Hey, this is RR from FinSuite, and in this video, we're going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. And in particular, we are going over the Combine tool. So now we're in the Webflow Designer, and we're going to go ahead and um, put in our Combine tool from FinSuite, from the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. Now, why would we need this tool? Why do we need this combine tool where it, well, it enables us to combine multiple collection lists into one collection? You may think, why, why do I need that? What is that good for? Well, it's good, especially if you're going to uh, use the other tools that FinSuite has, that the CMS library for Webflow has, which is like filtering, search, all those things. Well, now you're able to do that within different collections. They don't all have to be the same collection. Well, this is good for like e-commerce or, um, you know, uh, even like websites where it's like maybe your rental properties or, you know, I always kind of consider talking about that because it's kind of where the zone I'm at right now. Well, you see, at this moment, Webflow can't combine different collection lists so let's say you have a collection list of houses and then apartments and then condos so you're not able to combine them also the webflow CMS collection lists are limited you're only able you can't have more than a hundred items in your collection list but now you can with combine so we're here at the webflow designer and i went ahead and created another collection using some of the animals that represent FinSuite. And I, I made it a little different. I put an image, I put a title, a description, and then I even put a number product, kind of an animal number, product number on it. So I, I went ahead and made two collection lists. And we're going to go ahead and put in the combine tool by copying the code from the website of uh, the FN Suite CMS library for Webflow. Now, before we do that, it's very important that you name your classes. And it's also good if you're going to start doing Webflow, you really need to get used to naming your classes, making sure that you stay organized. Now, this is very important. On the collection list, so we have two collection lists right here. And we went ahead and named the wrapper collection list wrapper. Now, you can see I have a secondary class of pad bottom. That's just really to put something, uh, a padding on the bottom. Uh, you don't need to put that. It's because as you can see, this one, this collection list does not have that. It was just so I could put a margin on the bottom. That's really it. So go ahead and name this collection list wrapper. That's the box. And this is a very important one. You want to name this collection list, the one right underneath it. So this the wrapper is the box that it's in. And the collection list is the actual CMS, the actual collection list. And you want to name it something where it's the same name. So with this one, I named it collection hyphen list. Same thing here, collection hyphen list. Okay. And you want to make sure that you remember that name and make it the same name. Also, before you do this, you want to make sure that both the collections are in the same container are right pretty much almost like right next to each other you know in the um, website layer thing where it's right next to each other because if not um, it's not going to be able to combine it um, like for example when I first made this I had it in different containers and it wasn't combining so you not, you need to put them in the same container so uh, we'll go ahead and have our two things here and let's go to the CMS docs.wefa.io and we'll go to the menu item and go to Visual Script Writer. On the previous video, we talked about the Visual Script Writer, how this is gonna be your best friend whenever you need to use um, the CMS library for Webflow. And also, if you, if you don't know how I made this, feel free to go back to the second video, which is how we talked about how to create a CMS. So let's go ahead and go to Visual Script Writer. And then remember, remember the name that I told you to memorize, make sure you remember, we're going to put that in the CMS list class. And this is very important because this is always where you're going to put the class name. And I like to have the same class names all across the board so that it affects all of it. So we're going to go ahead and put dot collection hyphen list. 
The dot means that it's a class. That's really what it's trying to say. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and click the combine tool right here. As you notice, we already have the code made with the code right there, collection list, the one that we inputted right here. Now let's go ahead and copy the code. It's copied. Go back to the designer. And then as you're in this page, go ahead and click the page icon right here. And then click the gear button next to the page. And this one, I have it at home. And then you're going to scroll all the way down and put it, make sure you put it on the before body tag, not the inside head tag, but the before body tag. Go ahead and paste it right there. And then you have your code. Now, before we publish it, this is what it looks like. Okay. As you can see, it's separated. There are two separate collections. But now, if we go ahead and publish it, we have to publish it first. Remember, these uh, code inputs that we put are not going to work on just the regular viewer or the preview mode. We have to publish it and look at the actual website. So we'll go ahead and click publish. And now, as you see, they are now combined in the same collection. Now you're going to be able to filter through this, search through this. Um, you're able to put more than um, one collection. They're now combined into one collection instead of where over here it's shown as two different collections. Over here it's shown as one collection. And that is how you set up and use the combined tool from the FN Suite CMS library for Webflow. On the next video, we're going over another tool which is called the Load More tool. That's FN Suite.